race, Brad Keselowski, who qualified second, was forced to drop to the tail end of the field after his team made an unapproved adjustment to his 22 car. Here we go at Texas. Pole sitter Eric Jones led the field to the green flag and quickly tried to break away from the competition. But after an early caution, Dale Earnhardt Jr. took his turn at the top spot after stealing the lead from Jones during the restart. On lap 16, Joey Gase brought out the second caution of the evening when his 52 car went for a spin on the entrance of turn one. Under the yellow, Junior would lose his lead and several other positions on pit road. Back under green, Brian Scott made a run and worked his way into first place after restarting in the fourth position. But a determined Brad Keselowski stormed around contenders and found his way into the top spot by lap 47 and quickly broke away from the field. As the race continued to progress, other contenders worked their way toward the front, and after long green flag runs, several teams began to think pitch strategy. On lap 131, after dominating the race, Keselowski was forced to make a costly pit stop in order to remove debris from the front grille of his race car. Keselowski would lose several positions in the process as the majority of the leaders opted to stay out. During the restart, Eric Jones and Dale Earnhardt Jr. swapped the lead on different occasions, with Jones ultimately securing the top spot on lap 149. Meanwhile, Keselowski continued to fight his way back toward the front of the pack. On lap 166, the caution flag waved once more. After the lap car of Cale Conley blew a tire in turn two, sending his race car up the racetrack and into Brendan Gaughan, who was running in the 12th position. During the restart, it was Eric Jones and Brad Keselowski leading the field to the green. Keselowski made a strong run on the 20 car, but Jones refused clear, to be denied clear, clear. and was able to pull away from Keselowski. At age 18, Jones would go on to pick up his first ever NASCAR Xfinity Series win in only nine starts, beat 11 drivers that are racing in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series race tomorrow, and grab Joe Gibbs Racing's first NASCAR Xfinity Series win.